Hi everyone, this is Natasha. I want to share with you a quick tip. For those of you who enjoy feta cheese, as you see I have a block of feta cheese that have just been crumbled a little bit. Um, and I get this from my local produce place. They make their own cheese actually. But um, I also like feta cheese on bagels. But in order to make it spreadable, I add a little bit of cream cheese. So I've had room temperature cream cheese sitting on hand and I have, um, this is probably about six or seven ounces of feta. I'm not gonna use all of it. Then I have my little handy dandy Cuisinart Mini Mate Plus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a feta spread with just about two ounces of cream cheese. And then I will put the, whichever one's gonna end up more, it's probably gonna be this, this container's worth and then the leftover cream cheese to use in something else. I use cream cheese in cooking and baking, both savory and sweet dishes, just on cream, you know, just on bagels, a spread is cream cheese with a little lox, a slice of onion. I enjoy all that. So let me show you uh, once I have it in the little mini chopper and I'm not gonna run it on video cause it is really, really loud, but I'll show you before and after. So about four ounces of crumbles and two ounces of cream cheese. There it is, um, four, three to four ounces of the feta and just about an ounce and a half to two ounces of the cream cheese. So I'm gonna pulse this up and show you what it looks like. There it is, whipped feta. So I'm gonna get my little rubber spatula and take all the little goodies out of this little container. I don't make a lot in a batch because it's the kind of thing that you don't go through a volume of, but it's definitely nice to have on hand. So let me show you what it looks like all out of the container and then I'll give you some ideas of what you can add to it when you or use it on. There you go, whipped feta easy to spread. Um, you can add this on Kalamata bread, on pitas. It would be great to add chopped Kalamata olives in it. You can certainly add herbs. It's a nice little spread on crackers for an appetizer and it is much easier to handle than crumbled feta. I still have some crumbles left for my salad and I have cream cheese left over so now I have this feta and I definitely better label it so hubby doesn't think that it's cream cheese and use it instead of it. So there you go, there's my version of a quick whipped feta. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Don't forget to thumbs up, it's free for you and it helps me out. And I thank you for watching.